Hello guys, welcome to another video. It's me, Riyadh, an English teacher. This is another online lesson devoted to fourth year students. Attitudes is the second lesson of the last module entitled Life Issues. You can find the links to the previous lessons in the description box below. Today's lesson is as important as the previous ones because your attitude determines who you are. If you are interested and you want to find out more, please continue watching this video. Before getting started, let's see what this lesson's objectives are. At the end of the lesson, the students will be able to write a newspaper article about people's attitudes and ethics by breaking a code using information to guess what the lesson is about, labeling the definitions with the appropriate terms, doing a quiz about ethics, watching a set of videos to answer some comprehension questions, and watching a video and taking notes to write an article. The words or expressions that students are meant to acquire in this lesson are ethical, ethics, unethical, fair, patriotism, profound, to owe, to sneak in line, to snoop, to stand by our country through thick and thin, to take advantage of, to talk behind one's back, to violate the law, and unconditional. If you want to be notified whenever I upload a new video, you can follow me on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. And as usual, don't forget to share this video and to send it to as many of your friends as possible so that they can make the most of it. Let's get started with the first activity by breaking the code using the information below to guess what the four words we will be talking about today are. Each number, as you can see, stands for a letter. For example, number 25 is the letter V. You can have three minutes to find out the four words. Great. Now the words that we have are value, attitude, behavior, and belief. The verb from value is to value, which means to consider the importance of something or someone. The antonym is to disvalue or to disesteem. For example, I can say, never waste your feelings on people who don't value you. Here, the word value is used as a verb. Surround yourself with people who see your value and remind you of it. Here, the word value is used as a noun. As for the word attitude, it means how you think or feel about something. For example, my attitude will always be based on how you treat me. Another example, a bad attitude is like a flat tire. If you don't change it, you will never go anywhere. As for the verb behavior, it is to behave, and the antonym is to misbehave. As an example, we can say, your behavior shows your personality. And a change in behavior begins with a change in the heart. Finally, the verb from belief is to believe, and the antonym is to disbelieve or to doubt. Be careful here. The letter B is not pronounced. So again, we say to doubt. In order to succeed, we must first believe that we can. Do you think these terms have the same meaning? No, because they are completely different. So to find out more, let's do this exercise. We have to complete these definitions with the missing words, which are attitude, belief, behavior, and values. You can pause the video for five minutes and do the exercise at your ease. Now let's correct the exercise. The answers are, for the first one, a value is what you think is important to you. They can be personal values, social values, economic values, political values, religious values, or moral values. As for the second definition, we have uh, a belief. A belief is what you think is true. It can come from uh, different sources, such as an experience, experiments, cultural or societal norms, 
such as religion or what other people say, for example, education or mentoring. Number three, an attitude, is the way you express yourself in thoughts, words and actions because of your values and beliefs. It is how to treat others and approach situations. The last one is a behavior. A behavior is how you act and conduct yourself. Let's now elicit some really important values. <clears throat> values like uh, love, health, honesty, patriotism, respect, friendship, success, freedom, fraternity, and equality are the lifeblood and the cornerstone of a healthy society that we can't live without. Let's now do this uh, quiz to test how ethical or unethical we are. I'm going to ask you 15 questions and you have to check off every unethical thing you've ever done. Be honest when you answer these questions. But before that, let me explain these two words. The noun from ethical is ethics, which means a set of beliefs about what is morally right or wrong. The adjective, as we said, is ethical, which means morally right or moral. For example, I can say, keeping your promise is considered an ethical deed. As for the antonym, it is unethical, which means morally wrong or immoral. And it should be noted here that the prefix un is always used to add the meaning not, lacking, or the opposite of before adjectives, adverbs, verbs, and nouns. So when we say unethical, it means not ethical. As for example, we can say giving money under the table or what we call bribery is unethical, dishonest, and illegal. While doing this exercise, I would like you to answer either with yes, I have or no, I haven't. And check off on a piece of paper every unethical thing you've ever done. At the end of the test and based on the result, I will tell you how ethical or unethical you are. Question number one. Have you ever borrowed anything and haven't returned it? You can now answer yes, I have or no, I haven't. Question number two. Have you ever violated a traffic law? For example, speeding or rolling through a stop sign. To violate the law means to do something illegal, commit an offense, or to transgress. Let's move on now to the third one. Have you ever snuck in line? To sneak in line means to move silently in line. In colloquial English, in colloquial English we can say to jump the queue. Question number four. Have you ever evaded paying public transport fares? To evade, it means to escape, not pay, as shown from the picture. The guy is trying to escape and trying to evade paying public transport fares. As for the word fare, it means the price that you pay to travel by taxi, plane, train or bus. Question five. Have you ever not paid back money you owed someone? To owe someone, it means to be in debt to someone. For example, you have to pay someone back the money he or she gave you. Question six. Have you ever snooped through someone else's phone number? To snoop, it means to look around a place secretly in order to find out information about someone. Question number seven. Have you ever lied to your parents or your teachers? To lie to someone means to show that something is not at all true or not to tell the truth. Question number eight. Have you ever talked about a friend behind their back? To talk about a person behind his or her back is when you talk about someone who is not near you or with you in a negative way. Question number nine. Have you ever bought goods you knew were stolen? Question number 10. Have you ever left your trash on the beach or any public place? Question number 11. Have you ever used someone else's streaming account, such as Netflix, without their knowledge? 
Question number 12. Have you ever cheated on a test? Question number 13. Have you ever kept cash you have found on the ground? Question number 14. Have you ever driven a car without a license? And the last one, have you ever faked or pretended to be sick to stay home from school? Now let's see the results. But before that, I would like you to count the yeses that you have. How many yeses do you have? If you have between one and five yeses, this means that you are slightly, a little, or somewhat an ethical. We all sleep up from time to time, but overall, you are an ethical human being, so well done. To sleep up, it means to slide or fall, as you can see in the picture. In this context, it means that we can sometimes make mistakes, misbehave, or do wrong. After all, we're not faultless and we're not flawless, but we have to repent and ask forgiveness for doing that. If you have between 6 and 10 yeses, you are moderately unethical. You have definitely done some unethical things in your past, but things could be worse. So you have to be careful and watch your deeds and how you behave with people. The last one, if you have between 10 and 15 yeses, you are extremely unethical. You can do whatever you want and do not care about what others think. It seems that rules mean nothing to you. If you are the case, which I hope you're not, you, can, you have to consider your behaviors and change them. As we said earlier, your behaviors, your behavior shows your personality and an attitude is like a flat tire. You can't get far until you change it. To better understand these terms, we will watch now a set of videos and answer the following questions. The first question is, what is the video about? The second question is, what is the attitude? The third question is, how did they behave? The fourth question is, what is the value promoted in this video? The fifth question is, what morals can we get from this video? And finally, label the video with the appropriate quote. The quotes that we have are the following. Too many people take advantage of the trust that they are given. To take advantage of someone, it means to treat someone badly in order to get something good from them. The second quote is, no one has ever become poor from giving. The third quote is, the gap between the rich and the poor is widening fast. And the last one, I do love, my country is good with respect, more tender, more holy and profound than my own life. Profound means an idea or thought deep in meaning. To do this exercise, I would like you to draw this table on a draft paper and answer the questions as you watch the video. سألوني قالوا لي شنو هي أكبر بلاد في العالم؟ قلت لهم تونس. قالوا لي أنت ما تفهم شيء في الجغرافيا. قلت لهم أنتم اللي ما تفهموا شيء في التاريخ. تونس تبكي، تونس تتوجع، تونس تحب ولادها أما علاش ولادها ما يحبوهاش؟ شني مشكلتك خدمة فلوس مصلحة كرسي بوفوار عما زاد خمم في تونس خمم في بلادك مصالحنا مختلفة ثنيتنا مختلفة مانيش معاك مانيش موافقك عما ندافع عليك ونحبك نحبك على خطرنا توانسة نحبها نحب شمسها وسماها ريحة المطر كي تغسل ترابها نسمة الصيف كي تغدى وجهها اللي يضحك تونس توجعني دمعتها توجعني Let's correct now. The first video is a motivational video which encourages and incites people to have a sense of belonging to this country and to enjoy living in it. As for the attitude, people are ready and willing to put themselves in harm's way in service of our country. Stand by our country through thick and thin. Be proud of belonging to this country. 
think about our country and love every ounce of it. To demonstrate this attitude, people act accordingly by respecting the country, protecting its facilities, defending it in times of wars, and participating in the building and boosting the country's economy. As for the value the video is meant to promote is definitely patriotism, which means the love of a country. The moral that we can learn from this video is that the love to our country should be unconditional. As for the quote, it is, I do love my country as good, with a respect more tender, more holy, and profound than my own life. I hope now that you have grasped and figured out the meaning and the differences between these four terms. If not, let's watch another video and do the same thing. Hey, what's up guys? So in the past couple months, I've been talking to a lot of homeless people and they've all told me that people treat them differently. They don't treat them as human beings. So today I'm going to dress like a homeless guy and try to go in and eat at a fancy restaurant. Let's see how they treat me. Sorry, sir. Okay. Can, can I eat here? No, 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 no. No, side. Can I check the menu? No. Go straight. I have some money. Yeah, yeah, no problem. What the problem? Yeah. Yeah. What the problem? Can I eat here? You know what? I don't think you can do it. Oh, I can't? No. Oh, okay. so Especially I'll... the owner's kid is going to complain. So. so the owner doesn't? No. I'm sorry. Can I see the menu? Menu? Yeah. You have means of paying for the menu? Yeah, I have some money. Okay. Can I can I come sit inside and put no, my... No, not inside. No, no. Sorry. I can't. Be... No, you can't. Sorry. Oh, I can't sit inside? No, you can't. Cheaper for you upstairs. There's a pizza. It's a whole lot cheaper than this. Thank you, sir. Thanks for stopping by. Good. How are you? Question. Uh, can I just check some menu real quick? I don't know what you guys have here. Okay. Is it okay if I can eat here? Sure. But uh, can I see a menu real quick? And right. stuff? Do you guys have anything like really nice in here? Seafood. Like a lobster, like a shrimp, clam, mussels, or something like that. So I, I can go inside and eat it. It's cool, yeah. right? Yeah. I was here a couple, not, not too long ago. Do you remember me? What happened? You remember me? Yes. Yeah, so yeah, because actually I, I didn't have to pick have to pick up my car to pick up my clothes. Okay. But now like you guys can serve me now, like, it's kind of like, I don't get it. Like, you, ju you guys maybe shouldn't judge people by the way we look. No, no, that's, so you're perfect. No problem. I'm perfect now? Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, you know what? I'm not really that hungry anymore because the way you treat people makes me sick. Okay. All right, man. Thank you. Hey, you're so coming come. with the little... Yeah, little... yeah, remember me, right? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Yeah, because I was asking you guys, you guys say, you know, you can't no, really I eat here. So no, I was I like... Can, I can. No be mad, you know. Thank you so much. Yeah. Okay. Next time we sign the race and do the poster, she ordered what you want. Yeah. That's it. That's it? That's it. Here, turn for that. Okay? Order to go and everything. Okay. I was here earlier, you guys didn't want to eat me, so I mean, I come back. We just, we don't want to judge people by the way we look. It's status, everybody should be equal, you know what I mean? Yes, everybody you know should be I'll equal. I'll tell you this, that's me right there. You know, respect everybody. I told them. That's me, Daniel. Now, let's correct. As you can see, the video was about a person who posed as or pretended to be a homeless person. He wanted to eat at a fancy restaurant, but unfortunately he got rejected because he was poor. A few minutes later, the same person came back driving a luxurious car and wearing trendy clothes, but this time he was highly welcomed and favored. As we said earlier, an attitude is how to treat others and approach situations. Here. The waiter holds the opinion or the stance that rich people and poor people should not be treated equally. However, the right attitude is to treat people with kindness and respect no matter who they are. To demonstrate or show his attitude in action, the waiter didn't let the poor man in, but he highly welcomed the rich man. The value the YouTuber meant to promote is treating people equally.
As for the moral that we can get is that people unfortunately treat each other according to their social statuses and appearances. As for the quotes, the quote is the following, the gap between the poor and the rich is widening fast. Now that things have become clearer, let's watch another video for further practice. This one is gonna be shocking. Hello? 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 Yeah. Hello. Sorry, do you have do you have change for five a five dollar a five dollar note? Hey guys, my name is Adrian G and today I'll be filming a social experiment where I pose as a blind man and I ask people for change for a $5 bill, but I will be handing them the $50 bill. So let's see whether people will take advantage of the situation. Hello? 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 Yep. Yeah, here you go, mate. E excuse me, do you, do you have change for a $5 bill? I just um, need some change for my friends. I think I have, hold on. Parking ticket? Here you are. Yeah. That's yeah. the five? Yeah, yeah man. Yeah, I really, right. yeah. I'll really, yeah. i just count it. Yeah, there you go. Um, that's actually a $50 note. This, this is the five? This is the five, yeah. So I can <laughs> Thank take you. the five. Thank you. Thank you. And... Thank you so much. This should actually be $5. This, is that $5? Yes, it is. It's okay. two $2 and then um, five twenty. Okay, points. thank you so much. No Thank worries. you. Mm. No, I don't have the right change, mate, but like, you've got to get it right. That's your 50. This, my, this is the five? five. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hate to tell you, but that's a $50 note, mate. This is, is this the five? That's the five. Thank you. Thank, thank you so and much. I don't have any change. Sorry, right. mate. That's, that's, that's okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Hello? 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 Hey, anyway. Hey, do, do you have change for a five dollar note? Uh, yeah, I'll follow up for you. Alright. That was my five, yeah? Yeah, yeah, of course. Okay. No, don't. Sorry, man. There you go. Sorry. Oh, that's what okay. I did. No, that's alright. Good luck, though. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, mate. <laughs> hey, buddy. Buddy, buddy, buddy. Yep. I'm, I'm not actually blind, man. I want my 50 back, so what are you uh, doing? Uh, Be honest next time, man. Uh, so, what are you doing? I'm not, I'm not sorry, even blind, man. I didn't, I didn't even, so, oh, far out, I did not even realise. Sorry. No, oh, man, just, just be honest. Be more honest next time. Look, there's a camera right there. Oh, far out, man. Sorry, I was like an asshole. Sorry, man. It's good. Just be honest next time, right? Yeah, yeah. So let's uh, now correct this exercise. So the first question is, uh, what is the video about? So it's about a YouTuber who pretended to be blind. And uh, he asked some uh, strangers whether they could make change for $5 while holding out a $50 bill. The uh, attitude is uh, being honest with uh, all people. As for the behavior, how people behaved, acted and conducted themselves was as follows. Some stole the money from the blind man. Others gave him a change for a $5 bill and walked away with the $50. While still others were honest and not only did they tell him he was holding out the $50 but gave him change for the $5. The value here is honesty and the lesson that we can get from this social experiment is that it is important not to trust people too much. Finally, the quote is too many people take advantage of the trust they are given. Let's move on now to the last uh, video, but this time I will not uh, answer it uh, after watching. I would like you to watch and uh, write your answers in the comment section below and I will correct it for you as usual. In today's society, it's socially acceptable for the wealthy to give money to the homeless. Is it acceptable because it's one individual helping another or because one individual is better than the other so it's okay to help? Today I want to flip the script and see what happens. Sir? I don't have any money, man. No, I, I'm, I'm not, I don't need your money. I'm trying to give you money. I don't need your money, man. I, I'm just trying to help out today. Here you go. Does it look like I need your money? Wait, wait, sir. Sir. What? I'm just trying to help you out today. God bless. Bless you. Oh, I don't have any 
need money though. Okay, well here. Here, buy yourself something nice today. Are you trying to be funny? Man, I wish I could help you out, bro. I got uh, some water or something. How about I help you out today? Looks like you need it, so. You wanna give me money, man? Yeah. You prick. Sir, sir. Like my sign says, no one has ever gone poor by giving, and I have all that I need in life, so I want to give back. God bless. How much all you have, and you want to give to me? Yeah. God bless. Are you sure? Yeah. Have okay. Have a good day. You know what? I have all I need too. So whatever. I'll give to you. You're gonna give me that? Yeah, all that, man. Just cause, just cause message, man. It's so positive. Thank you, man. Should I offer to pay his meter? Sir, 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 before you pay your meter. Oh, no, I'm good, man. Thank you. No, but look what my sign says. No one has ever gone poor from giving, and I just want to give back to you. Oh, okay. Well, let me give you something. You see that? That's a Benz. You got to earn your way up, pal. That was the most pretentious thing I've heard today, and I've been doing this all day. Thank you. C-Class, baby. C-Class. Nice, bro. Yo, but how much money you got in your heart? Sounds like you're pretty broke. It's a black car. Okay. It's a black car. Okay, that's nice, bro. I'm good, homie. That's nice. It doesn't matter how much money you have. It doesn't matter what car you drive. It matters how humble you are in your heart, and you're not really humble saying all that. This is L.A., baby. All right, have a good one, bro. This is LA. Keep Keep walking. Keep walking. Keep <laughs> walking. Christian, keep recording this bullshit. What's up? Keep walking. Keep walking. What's up? Keep walking. What's yeah. Up? That's a C class. Oh, that's so nice, bro. How much did you pay for that? About fifty thousand. Oh, you got money, bro. Congratulations, do. dude. I you do. need to humble yourself, man. Life isn't about money, bro. I'm not even freaking homeless. I don't care what kind of car you drive. I don't care if you have a black card. Dog, just keep moving. Honestly, you don't want any of this. Just keep walking. All have right. a good day. All right. All right. I remember you. Says who? Just keep walking, bro. Says who? Have a good day. All right. Have a good day. Keep that 10 bucks. Have a good day, bro. Have a good day. Ruin my whole freaking mood. We're done with this video. Let's go. Now, after watching these social experiments, we come to the conclusion that people act according to what they feel like doing and not according to the value that they should hold. Knowing the difference between what you have a right to do and what is right to do is what makes us behave ethically. Ethics is a system of principles that helps us tell right from wrong, good from bad, and can give us a real and practical guidance in our lives. Ethical values such as honesty, trustworthiness, and responsibility help guide us along the pathway to deal more effectively with ethical dilemmas by eliminating those behaviors that do not conform to, the, to our sense of right and wrong, our best rational interests without sacrificing others. Unfortunately, nowadays, we live in a world where ethics has become second best and where people are measured and valued by their social statuses and appearances rather than by their values, attitudes or ethics. So, for example, when you advise or uh, you try to deter someone from doing a particular deed because this is socially or religiously unacceptable or unethical or inappropriate or because it might affect society, they simply respond by saying that they are free to do whatever they want. Uh, this has become uh, prevalent in today's world. Everything has become allowed. Everything has become justifiable on the pretext that everyone is free to do what they want. Well, my answer to such people is, as Albert Camus said, a man without ethics is a wild beast upon this world. That being said, I think Camus was pointing at the idea that ethics, a sense of right or wrong, of virtue and honor, of social obligation and duty, is all what raises a human being above the nature of an animal. Ethics is how we rise above being animals. So a man with no ethics 
collapses back to being an animal. And no man is a man without high morals or ethics. In this context, Albert Einstein said, try not to become a man of success, but rather to become a man of value. So again, a bad attitude is like a flat tire. You can't get far or very far until you change it. Ethics is vital to every society as it plays a critical role in shaping the individual's behaviors with the, within the community. We need to be ethical because this defines who we are as individuals and as a society. Among the reasons why you should be moral, regardless of one's occupation, social status or appearance, are two. Number one, make our society better. When we help make society better, we, all, we are also rewarded with making our lives and the lives of our families and friends better. So without moral conduct, society would be a miserable place. Number two, lessen stress. When we make immoral decisions, we tend to be uh, or to feel uncomfortable and uh, concerned about our decisions. Making the right moral decision or taking a principled perspective on an issue reduces stress. Number three, treat everyone equally. Equality is the cornerstone of life. This is not possible without the majority of citizens behaving in a moral manner. Number four, secure meaningful employment. Often employers will look at a person's past behavior as a predictor of future behavior. Someone who has a history of immoral behavior will have difficulty securing employment in a meaningful job, as that person may not be trusted. Our society might fall into chaos if we accept that each of us could pick and choose what the right thing to do is. Some people may lie, others uh, may not do what they say they will do, still others act irresponsibly and engage in harmful behavior. After watching this short talk, let's move on now to the practice section. Write about the following topic in the comment section below and I will correct it for you as usual. Some people think that a person's worth nowadays seems to be judged according to the social status and material positions. Others, however, think that old-fashioned values such as uh, honor, kindness and trust no longer seem to be important. Write an article for your school magazine in which you express your agreement or disagreement with this opinion. As a reminder, I would like you to write an article in a coherent way. Your article should contain a heading or title, an introduction, a body, and a conclusion. If you're new here, you can check this four-part series on my YouTube channel on how to write an article. The first video is about the different and essential elements to write a good article. The second video is about the elements of article structure. The third video is about showcasing the different parts of an article. And the last one is about how to write a catchy headline like a pro in seconds. And these are the keynotes of the lesson. As usual, you can screenshot this page and add it to your portfolio or and send it to your friends so that they can make the most of it. That's all for me, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and also to make sure to subscribe to our channel so that you can get notified whenever I upload a new video. Thank you so much. Love and peace. React.